2022 marks the first anniversary of relaunching our Brittany site as the Euro Control Innovation Hub and defining our ambition to federate innovation from our operational stakeholders. Recently, we organized the first innovation meetup event, bringing together other innovation hubs in order to create synergies and new partnerships. 2022 was a successful year with many achievements in all our main programs. As part of the Eurocontrol Air Transport Innovation Network, our user-driven innovation portfolio, we have now 20 projects running with 8 new launched in 2022 in cooperation with civil and military aircraft operators, airlines and ANSPs. This year, one of our AI-driven solutions called FADE was used by 10 airlines to help them better cope with delays. Several projects are now in the industrialization phase, while others are being trialed by stakeholders. This year, we wrapped up the critical stages of many CESAR 2020 projects by performing the validation activities that will bring them closer to operations. Some examples include the virtual center dynamic pairways, runway separation, improved civil-military coordination, the dynamic airspace configuration and the trajectory-based operations. On top of that, we are getting ready for CESAR 3 activities that will commence next year. This year we have completed the largest ever airspace simulation in Europe for Turkish free route project with 12 weeks of simulation and involving more than 400 controllers from DHMI. We also completed multiple simulation exercise for research project and for Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. In the autumn, we kicked off four new simulations for Ankara and Istanbul airports and terminal areas. And next year, we will start preparing our simulator modernization program. As part of our drone activities, we coordinated the Chorus XRM project that delivered urban air mobility demonstrations in seven countries. Our project on affordable detection of US traffic, called ACUTE, has obtained some impressive results and will now extend it to several airports. This is the result of a collaboration with the network manager. We continued supporting our member states in implementation of U space. And we have just kicked off a new U space demonstration project called U Welcome. In addition, we are working with Airbus on setting up a UTM simulator. In 2022, the Aviation Sustainability Team organized its first Environmental Impact Assessment Forum, which gathered our stakeholders in Brittany. The aim was to showcase your control state-of-the-art environmental modeling tools, AEM, Impact and Open ALAX, and get feedback from our users. We also continue to provide support to research projects. One of the highlights of the year was the successful testing of Intact, an automated version of Impact, at all airports under operational conditions. 